their phone ends. I couldn't understand it. The one night of the millennium when everybody needed to be together and needed to talk. And these stations had cancelled it. Anyway, we played at the end of the show the American National Anthem and the UK National Anthem. And we did Hands Across the Sea. We stand together with America. We had a lady phoned in whose son had a meeting at the World Trade Center at the Twin Towers at nine o'clock. And she was on tenterhooks. And he uh, couldn't get a signal. He was stuck in the subway. Anyway, eventually phoned her and said, Mum, I'm okay. And she phoned into the show. There's been so many moments over the last 29 years of Scotty McClue phone-ins. Just coming up next year, 30 years. Yep, says Gavin, I'm a Sheffield lad. Uh, and I add it. Uh, Sheffield. Love Sheffield. Seven Hills. Hot chocolate for me and then bed, says Susan Shaw. Quite right, Susan. Very wise. Now, guys, please try and not get down with all this lockdown stuff. That's why I pop up to talk to you. Okay? So there you go. That's lovely, Scotty, but 9-11, a great tribute, keeping the phone in open. I couldn't understand it. Professional radio stations closing down their phone-ins on the night when everyone needs to talk. These are the, 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 the things that some radio stations do that I've never, ever understood. And it's just panic. It's lightweight panicking because bless them, but a lot of their programmers are used to putting songs into a computer and that's what they call programming. And they're not able to make big decisions like, Scotty, it's your top programmer here. You know, can I, can uh, tonight, can we discuss tonight? You know, that's all it needs, a bit of chat and on we go. United we stand, divided we fall. Eddie Dahl, what are we saying? Oh, yes, the 9-11. Yes, absolutely very, very important. So there we go. Now, now I can see what's going on here. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Wonderful. Right. That's gone up. So that's posted on Reddit now. If any of you want to pop on there. Wonderful stuff. Eddie Dahl. How have you been? I was very, very touched by the marvellous things that you did when we used to um, do all the uh, lockdown pop-ups live here on Facebook. We'll do more of them this week because I think it's important that we do. Um, I'm also going to share with my LinkedIn. <coughs> I've got 10,000 of you, business people who follow me, on LinkedIn, and um, I like to keep you up to date with what's happening, McClue-wise. I think it's very, very important. So I'll share this in a post and just put live now. There we are, live now. That's Scotty McClue. Oh, yes. You can't beat it, can you? That's it. There we go. And that's up there. Join me. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Join me. There we are. We'll maybe do some, uh, add a few hashtags. People like a wee hashtag. I did Dafty one time on Twitter. And sometimes I'll do quite a lot of hashtagging. And he said, I saw all the hashtags and I just scrolled on by. So I sent back, well, that was very, 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 very silly of you. Do not do that again. <laughs> One of these habits, very important with themselves, you know. Yes, absolutely. I saw all the hashtags and I just scrolled on by. Well, that was very, 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 very silly of you. Do not do that again. 